We're going to be graphing uh, the equation 2x plus y equals 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table. And uh, we have a table. And we have x and we have y. We're going to set let x equals 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and substitute for x 0. And we have the following equation. 2 times 0 is 0. So therefore, y is equal to 5. So our first order pair is 0, 5. So you start at the origin, and you go up 5 units. The next number that you want to use, we could use, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to use 1. So we're going to substitute. Uh, we're going to substitute x equals 1. Like we did on the first equation, we substituted x equals 0. So we have 2 times 1 plus y is equal to 5. And we know that 2 times 1 is 2 plus y is equal to 5. We subtract 2 from both sides. And we have 2 minus 2 which is 0, and we have y equals 3. So the next order pair that we have is 1, 3. So we start at the origin, we go over 1, and go up 3. And you notice that the two points are decreasing, and there is a pattern here. You have 2 over 1. This 2 over 1 is a slope. So the slope is negative 2 over 1. So we wanted to create another point. We'd go down 2 over 1. 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 Or we can go in the other direction and go up 2 over 1 and then repeat that process. And now, since we have several points here, we can go ahead and connect it. And that is our graph of the equation 2x plus y equals 5. And you notice that our slope. is decreasing. Also, this point that is circled, 0, 5, is what we call the y-intercept. That's where it crosses the y-axis. And this point here, which we're having a hard time to define, this would be the x-intercept. And this is the y-intercept. And we say that this line is decreasing, so the slope is negative.